other side of that, where there is glory, there is going to be far greater weight of glory. So let me just put a number on it. If you go through a hundred degrees of hell, God got about a thousand degrees of glory for you. Y'all getting this? I need you to get it. So he says, and then he says in Romans chapter 11, have I forsaken my people? I have not forsaken my people. You can start. <laughs> Somebody say, he ain't forgotten. He ain't Come on, say it. I need y'all to say it like you mean it. He ain't forgotten. I need to act, y'all Y'all act like, I don't care if you say smoke weed last night. I don't care what happened. I need you to open your mouth and say, he ain't forgotten. He ain't forgotten. Right. I don't care how much hell you done been through and how much rejection, how much pain you done felt, how many times you done felt like you on the chopping block. You need to open your mouth and say it. He ain't forgotten. I know it's not good news, but it's great kingdom. Say it. He ain't forgotten me. Listen, freedom just is not free. 
I need you to understand. It costs something to be free. Anyhow, let me hurry up. So here it is. Did somebody say yeah? I heard somebody say yeah. But watch this. Here it is. This is what you're going to get. In Genesis, he says, I want you to know of certainty that they're going to go through 400 years. Everybody say 400 years. 400 years. And they will be what? Enslaved, afflicted, or mistreated, and humbled for 400 years. Now watch this. Slavery in the United States, this slavery, Atlantic trans tra transatlantic slave trade, began August 25th of 1619. Come with me. Pay attention. And so, up until 1865, they were enslaved. From 1865, the Republican Party, by the way, comes in and says, we're abolishing slavery. Watch this. Everybody ain't your enemy. Come with me. I didn't think, expect to get, I didn't expect to get one, but thank you. Anyhow, between 1865 and 1870 something, we made some of the most powerful moves. We had Black Wall Street. We had Congress people going into the Senate, into Congress. Do y'all follow what I'm saying? Yeah. They were raising up judges, and that's why the, the KKK came to intimidate everybody that was going to be in those races. Are y'all following what I'm saying? See, and that's where the affliction comes and the mistreatment comes. Do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And we're enslaved. Yeah. Now there's affliction and mistreatment. Jim Crow, and all these kinds of things. Then it says humble, because right now, every right that belongs to them belongs to us. But we've been walking with a mindset that has made us to think that we can't have it. And that we still stricken. And I was, I was watching, I'm almost done. I was, I was praying, and I was like, God, you know, what is it gonna take for us to see certain things and God showed me something. He said, uh, the Asians came over here and they're doing very well. Watch this. The Nigerians, that's folk from Africa. Y'all want black? That's real black. They come over and they're doing extremely well. And so God said to me, now tell me it's your skin color that's stopping you. 